So I once said in an Instagram post, it would just be a shame to break up this beautiful Callaway Bobby Jones S2H2 set of blades. But this two iron isn't the easiest tool in the world to use. Although for my skill level, I'm surprised I can actually use it. And it can even come in handy on windy days to hit wind cheaters. But it would be nice to have an easier to hit all around alternative for it. And I think I found it. This is literally the craziest golf club I've ever seen. And also the most expensive. Like This is going to blow your freaking mind. You're going to want to stick around for this. The hybrid contained in this box was made by the best golf club craftsman in the world. Undisputed, no argument. You have to be working for the manufacturer that makes these clubs for 20 to 30 years before you're allowed to make this particular line. Because what we have here is the Rolex of golf clubs. When we open this thing up, you're gonna see what I mean. Oh yeah, we went there. We absolutely went there. Like you want freaking insane? Here it is in golf club form. The Hanuma Berez four star 19 degree hybrid. Oh, we definitely went there. Look at this thing. Okay, what do we got going on here? Well, Hanuma is already a quality Japanese golf club manufacturer. And their Berez line is their ultra premium line. Not only is this utilizing the best materials, the best technology and made 100% by hand by their master craftsmen, not just for the actual making of the club, but also all this detail, like this nice paint job. And look at that, that nice design, all done by hand. Everything on this club done by hand by the most passionate, and skilled craftsmen Hanuma have available. Like I said at the top of this video, the craftsmen that make these clubs have been working for Hanuma for over 30 years. So they put their most experienced guys on deck. Now the Rolex of golf clubs comes in as this. A Rolex will tell time and it's the best tool made with the best craftsmanship for telling time. Just like this is the best hybrid for that roll in the golf bag made with the best materials, the best quality to perform the best. But like a Rolex, you can also bling it out. That's where these stars come in. I believe the range starts at two stars and goes all the way up to five. Now on my four star, you get 24 karat gold accents and trim. Like these feral bands here, 24 karat gold. And I believe even the paint is infused with gold flakes. And the more I look at it, yeah, this inlay here is gold. Yeah, that's a hand laid gold inlay. Even the stars and the Berez logo are also gold. So if the four stars don't have the gold flakes in the paint, I know they do that on the five stars. And just because this thing looks pretty, I'm not babying it. If this fills the role I intend, it's going to be used like any other golf club, just any other tool. And I truly mean that. If this works out, I'm going to play golf with this club and not just show it off. It's going to do work. Even the shafts in these clubs are Hanuma's own in-house produced 
hand rolled in Sakata, Japan, graphite shafts. And each one of these are hand rolled. Everything about this club is made by hand. And as they put it, why would they put anybody else's shaft in here when they make the best graphite shafts in the world? The face milling is even super high quality. That's no joke. It's got some grit to it. Even the grip is super detailed. It's a golf pride grip with the Hanuma logo right there on the end. And then on the butt, you have golf pride. And then you have the Hanuma logo with the Berez badge. Again, super attention to detail. You get everything when you buy one of these. No stone is left unturned. The detail on the head cover is even nuts and super detailed. You got the Hanuma mole up here. All that is hand stitched. All this is hand stitched. Feels like super high quality leather. Like this head cover is basically a Gucci bag. All right, the only thing left to do is see how it compares to the two iron and see how it gaps with the three iron. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Actually using this thing as a weapon to hit golf balls. No going back now. So first we're gonna get a baseline with the three iron. That was crushed. Carried it 184.9, so 185, roll out to 200. Now it's time to see how far I hit the two iron. How much further, probably even less further than that three iron. But the margin of error is just so slim. What did I carry that? 182. Now we just stay. 168 yards. Uh, once more with confidence. There it is. So if we can do that with the hybrid more easy, it's a shoe in. How much should I carry that? Perfect. So it carries a little farther than the three iron, but it rolls out. Like that's the shot you want on windy days or just hard conditions where it'll roll forever. All right, here we go. First strikes with the Hanuma Berez four star. yards. So there's our total on the first shot. What's our carry? 195. 211 yards. Wow, I am just blown away with that. This club literally feels as good as it looks to hit. How bad did it scratch up? 
Yeah, you can definitely see there's some scratches on it from playing it off the mat. But any range mat gunk came right off it. This is a jewel and a tool and it's going in the bag. But we're still keeping the two iron kicking around because we can do it. It's just way harder than this thing. This is pretty much step up to the plate and hit it. Still have to put a good golf swing on it though. But in terms of ease of use versus the two iron, this is just step up and send it. Like we didn't even have to say any words. We hit a shot that was only two yards off our first one. Like what's more to say? Oh man, this is one of the most fun things I've ever done. Now the only thing left to do is go play golf with this sucker. All right, time to rip this sucker. Hold it to the left. Yeah. On that hill. So we pulled it a bit off target. Uh, that was operator error, not the club's fault. So even though we put it out to the left a bit more than we'd like to, we didn't lose too much distance with that overcook draw. So once we straighten that out, we should be able to do some good things with this club. Still feels amazing to hit though, even when you don't catch it perfect. So perfect. We actually didn't hit the best debuting tee shot, but if we would have overcooked the two iron and not hit it out of the middle, we would have lost so much distance on top of not hitting it straight. So the hybrid definitely let us get away with more than the two iron. Only thing left to do now is put the specs up for anyone that wants to see that in writing and show you what I paid for this thing, because it was not cheap. After all that, testing it in the lab and golfing with it out in the field, only thing left to do now is show you the cost and wrap this thing up. So if you want to get into one of these things, it'll cost you $1,819.99 Canadian. Yeah, you're not reading that wrong. There's nothing wrong with your broadcasting device. We absolutely demolished the new Scottish Golf Company credit card. In closing, this is without a doubt the best feeling golf club I've ever hit. And just reaffirms my position that the Japanese are the best golf club manufacturers in the world when it comes to quality. Like when we were testing it in the lab and you hit it out the middle, it's just another level. And even when we poked it out to the left a little bit and miss hit it just a tad, it still felt wonderful. And we didn't lose too much distance, even though we really overcooked it out there to the left. So it did what I wanted it to do, even when that didn't go 100% according to plan on the tee box. So it's checking all the boxes of what I want to see in a hybrid. Now, is this club for everybody? I'm gonna say if you're getting over a 100 mile an hour golf swing, even in a stiff or a shaft that's fitted to you, the 47 gram graphite shaft is just gonna, it's just gonna feel non-existent to you. So it probably wouldn't be for the best. Or if you just like the feel of a heavier club, probably not gonna be the best for you. But I'm gonna keep this thing kicking around. Definitely gonna game it in future course vlogs get used to it, and you may even see this thing in competition in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this absolute adventure as much as I did making it. New Scott out. <laughs>